On this episode, we're going to teach you how to get to Machu Picchu the cheapest, safest, and most inexpensive way, along with some really great tips. Machu Picchu is one of the most spectacular and breathtaking places on Earth. Originally, it was built to be an estate for an Incan emperor from 1438 to 1472. However, it had long been forgotten for about 500 years after that, which is probably a good thing because it would have been destroyed by Spanish conquerors and whatnot. Now, 500 years later, in 1911, an American historian from Yale University discovered it again and has since become one of the biggest tourist attractions in South America. Now, before you go there, there's a couple of things that you want to keep in mind first. First, altitude sickness. Machu Picchu's elevation is 8,000 feet, which means less oxygen in your air, which means less for your brain, and your brain might not be happy because there's heavy, also nausea, and fast heartbeat, and... So, because of this, the first thing you should do is take some coke. Just joking, no, not those either. What, what we meant is coca leaf, which makes up cocaine. But if you think about getting high off these, you'll be disappointed. Chewing coca leaf only helps your blood vessel expand in your brain, which take up more oxygen and make you feel better. We also advise that you get to Machu Picchu as soon as you land because it's at a lower elevation than Cusco and it allows your body to adjust to the altitude. Secondly, make sure you buy a train ticket and Machu Picchu admissions ticket month in advance, especially during the high seasons between July to early September. Especially if you wanted to climb the Huayna Picchu which is limited to 400 people a day. Remember this. Machu Picchu tickets are not sold at the entrance. Next off, both Inca Rail and Peru Rail do not allow luggage on their trains, so we suggest you pack lightly and leave most of your stuff back at the hostel. Also, Inca Rail doesn't allow overnight storage, however the little more expensive Peru Rail does. Keep in mind, Peru is a developing country, and there is at the moment no direct transportation between the airport and Alcalantes the little town on the base of Machu Picchu. Now, here's the easiest, cheapest, and safest way to get there. 1. From the airport, take the official airport taxi to downtown Cusco Central Square called Plaza de Ames for 10 sol or approximately 3 US dollars. Not 10 US dollars, 3. But you can negotiate taxi prices with the driver or exit the airport and take a regular taxi for half of that cost. 2. Once you get to Plaza de Ames, the central square, there is an office for both Peru Rail and Inca Rail where you can exchange your electronic voucher receipt for a train ticket. After getting your ticket, grab a taxi for one US dollar or you can walk for 10 minutes to Cali Pavito's bus terminal between Belen and Avgro. The directions will be provided in the description. There, you should see a bunch of share taxis like this. The share taxis will take you to Olitatambo train station. You get on a bus with the most people because usually the buses leave when they're full. It's 10 sol to get on the bus or three US dollars. And from there, enjoy the hour and a half bumpy ride. You can request the bus driver to stop directly at the train station in Olitatambo or if he drop you off at the central square, the Plaza de Amas, you can walk to the train station in 10 minutes or less with the direction in the description. I am giving, want to give you guys a tour of the Inca Rail train. Let's go to... That's the view from the cockpit. And it's a beautiful train, but it's also very expensive either. But this is pretty much the only way you can get to Cusco other than doing the Inca hike. When you arrive at the train station at Aguaya Calentes, meaning fresh water, you will need to exchange your electronic perch receipt for a missions ticket for Machu Picchu at the Cultural Center. It's located at the Central Square or Plaza de Amas, opened from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. 
It's a short 10 minutes walk from the train station with a direction found in the description. Now, as of 2015, the tickets are 128 Seoul or $40 US. If you want to climb Huena Pichu as well, it's $48. Once you exchange your voucher for a ticket, the ticket is valid for one admission within a three-day period in case the weather doesn't cooperate. But remember, the train tickets are only valid for the date and time that you selected at the time of purchase. And once again, the tickets to Machu Picchu are not sold at the entrance. Finally, you need to walk across the train station and take a shuttle up to Machu Picchu. Each way costs 950 US or 35 souls, with a first departure at 5.30 AM. Well, you've made it. You can congratulate yourself now with a gold medal because you just found one of the wonders of the world. Wait a minute, that, that's bronze, man. Ah. Much better. Uh, and please don't overstay your welcome. The last bus down is at 4 p.m. unless you want to hike an hour and a half down. I like going down. And remember, never bring coca leaves home. It's illegal in most countries. We hope you found this video informative. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, can I have my medal back? No. I'm the winner. That. I have to say to you guys, man, life is so short. And uh, I can help you guys. There you go. One second. Let me help them out. Yeah.